Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today I'm making an ice dyed fan folded shirt that I'm going to dye at an incline. My shirt has been pre-soaked in soda ash, wrung out, and it's just barely damp. I also have my shirt turned inside out. I'm using a piece of kite string and a washable marker to draw an arc on the side of my shirt. I'm going to fan fold this line and tie it up with some kite string. I'm going to continue fan folding my shirt and tie the rest of the shirt up with kite string as well. Okay, so now it's time to start applying the dye. I'm going to do this shirt at an incline, and so in order to do that, I've taken a piece of plastic guttering that I've cut to length. I have one end of it down inside of a tall sided tub, plastic tub, and the other end hanging over the edge of the tub. So my shirt is at an incline. I've measured it before, I think it's probably at about a 40 to 45 degree angle. Then I'm going to put my shirt down inside of the guttering and apply the dye. For this shirt, I'm using three colors. I'm using Hot Hibiscus from Dharma Trading Company, and I'm gonna put that at the very top of the shirt and at the very bottom of the shirt. I'm using a soft spun shirt, so it's a little thinner of a fold. It doesn't fill up my guttering, and the dye's having a tendency to wanna just fall off of the shirt. So I use the back of my spoon to press the dye into the shirt a little bit. The second color that I'm using is turquoise from Grateful Dyes. I'm going to put that right up next to the hot hibiscus on the top and on the bottom. The third color I'm using is Lime Twist from Custom Colors. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm going to add a generous layer of soda ash. And put the ice on my shirt. One nice thing about doing an incline die using guttering is you don't have to build some sort of a barrier for your eyes. The guttering is a built-in barrier and it works really great to hold your eyes in place. Since this is a thinner, softer shirt, after all the ice had melted I came back and checked it and all of the dye had gone through my shirt so I just left it and let it continue to process. I did not add more dye to the back. All right, so here's what our completed shirt looks like. I really like the effect that an incline die gives. Listen, if you're enjoying watching these videos, I sure would appreciate it if you'd hit the big red subscribe button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching.